Okay, so currently this, the blue grid mode, is actually called the absolute grid mode, meaning every time I move stuff around or if I, if I trim or stuff, it happens exactly on the grid lines absolutely on the grid, mm -hmm. grid lines. But if I click and hold here or press the shortcut repeatedly, I cycle through these two. And the other one is the relative grid mode, which is purple here. Mm -hmm. uh, um, what it does, if I just move this clip a little bit out of the way, as you can see here, uh, my clip is now not on the grid. Mm -hmm. the, the placement of this clip is not on the grid. And in relative grid, grid mode, Pro Tools remembers this relative position to the grid. So if I were to move this clip now, it will not stick to the grid, absolutely. It will remain at its relative position to the, to the grid. So when I move this, as you can see, I'm exactly the same length from every grid line as I do this. And that, of course, goes uh, for, for moving stuff uh and for trimming stuff as well mm -hmm. so it's always adhering to whatever grid value you have set so if it's set to it's a, a whole grid. bar it will move a whole bar with that offset still yeah. in place with that offset yeah mm -hmm. exactly a great way to explain it yeah so over to you andy well oh, let me let me let's talk about one thing and this is for mm -hmm. for folks that have used grid mode for a while um not terribly recently but fairly recently um relative grid mode changed its behavior just slightly. Mm -hmm. um, it used to be that if you copied a clip and then pasted it, it would paste it exactly where the where the grid cursor is. So let, let me show even you Even if you were in relative grid. grid you even mean. if you were in relative grid. Mm -hmm. And it was yep. always a pain, right? Um, mm -hmm. So so let's say, um, throw, it, throw it a little bit further off the grid line so we can see. Yep, it. sure. There we go, okay. So now, zoom in a little bit, Anders, as well. Yeah, I can zoom in. Give us like the zoom. Yeah. So now, He's about halfway between those two grid lines. Now, don't drag it. Just copy the clip. Okay, so I'm pressing C to copy it, and yep. I'm positioning myself over here. Now, here's the problem, is when you're in relative mode, when you select a clip and drag it, it keeps that relative space. But when you click anywhere in the timeline, it doesn't, it it's always snaps to a grid line. You can see right there, mm. it snaps to a grid line. You know, if you, you just go to another grid line, it's going to snap to that as well. Yeah. And what would happen in the past is the clip would just be pasted exactly where that was. Now, relatively recently, not super recently, but it has changed a little bit. Now, if you hit paste, it will maintain that space. So you can see here that even though the timeline insertion, the playback cursor, was on the grid line because you're in relative grid mode pro tools is smart enough now to know that you want to paste it maintaining that space does that that work if i would cut cut it out using x instead so if i, I believe if so, I yeah. go ahead and try it. x and then i reposition myself and Should. as you said it will reposition yeah. at the grid line but if i paste it now it will still remain yep. at its yeah. at its relative offset position yeah now, now as a musician i know how i use um relative grid i use it so that like for snares and things like that mm -hmm. that i want to maintain the same distance i want it to lay back or or play mm -hmm. ahead or whatever so as a musician i use relative grid mode all the time mm -hmm. um what do you guys use that in post uh yeah i've i've had occasions where i've used it um of course yeah uh, i mean if you're if you're timing uh sound effects to a certain frame or something and it just sounds better between two frames or or something like that yeah sure i, I use relative grid mode for that yeah well i don't do post work but you know similar for music work i'll i'll use it a lot for for copying in or pasting in sorry uh samples for blending yeah mm. <clears throat> and and it works with cool. MIDI. It works with MIDI as well as audio. All of this stuff is exact. Works exactly the same way for MIDI notes and MIDI clips um, as exactly it does right. for audio. Mm. Yeah. Cool. All right.